Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to create music video previews for Instagram. Just how to actually go about creating those kind of world starry, SBTV-ish kind of um, previews that you see on your Instagram timeline when they're promoting uh, the launch of a new music video. This is gonna be using Premiere Pro and Photoshop. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so when I've opened up Premiere Pro right now, guys, this is actually going to be uh, an example of the finished result of what we're going to be creating. So you see it is essentially three pieces of the screen, a video preview in the middle, and then a, a, a um, screenshot up at the top, screenshots up at the bottom. These could be either two screenshots or I saw I could easily um, mirror that. So I just used one screenshot and just mirrored it because that kind of looked cool there as well. Um, but either way, we're going to be doing this with three main shots or two main shots if you can, uh, if you want to do something like this. but. This right here is the example, and also there's a slight variation I made of it here where I just had the actual preview go kind of diagonal instead. But both of these are extremely nice examples of a music video preview, and uh, overall these on Instagram are kind of the norm. Obviously you've probably seen loads of this stuff on World Star Hip Hop, uh, if you're over here in the UK, stuff like SBTV, Link Up TV, they all use this same method right here. And overall it's a much nicer way of kind of getting people into the video. Um, than kind of just posting the video itself and it's much more tension grabbing as well because uh, it has all these images here the text and obviously the image uh, the, the moving image um, video rather going on in between but without further ado let's get into the video guys and this is going to be involving Premiere Pro and Photoshop Photoshop obviously I assume most of you guys have it if you don't go grab Photoshop real quick you can even go grab a quick trial for like seven days or 38 days or something which is the full version and um, just repeat the trial, if, you know, if you want to do it like that. But either way, make sure you have Photoshop. And step one of this particular method right here, guys, is going to be selecting screenshots. So let me go ahead and just get the actual finished music video here, quit this, and just go ahead and make this into a new file. And now what you want to do, guys, is go to your music video that you're doing this and go ahead and grab yourself either two or three really nice screenshots. So I'm really just going to flick through here until I can find kind of like a nice a nice screenshot. This dude in the snow right here is pretty cool. Um, we could do something like this right here. Boom, we're going to grab that one. Um, uh, boom, I'm just going to go ahead and press I and O at the same time. So that's going to create an in and out point based around this one frame right here. And then I can just simply save and export this single image as a PNG, right? Boom. And I'm going to export that to my music video preview section where I've made my version one. Now I'm going to talk about, uh, now I'm going to save this one right here as uh, version two, pick one. Boom. Version two, pick one. Let's go ahead and export that quick. Now let's go ahead and find another screenshot that we're happy with. This one's pretty dope. I quite like that. That's, that's actually really nice right there. Boom. Um, obviously, I'm being less picky than, than you would be because this is just an example. Pick the nicest screenshots that you personally remember um, being inside of your project, right? Um, but for me, I'm just grabbing a few screenshots that look nice. Um, I'm going to grab three just in case, right? Boom. That is going to be my final one right here. I think out of these three, I'm definitely going to be able to find something that works. So now I'm just going to quickly save that as... Uh, version 2 pick 3 boom export that and for the time being that is all we're gonna have to do inside of Premiere Pro so now we just want to go go ahead and actually open up Photoshop okay so let's go ahead and launch Photoshop wait for that to load up boom that actually loaded up pretty quick um, usually when I'm doing tutorials my stuff takes ages to load and annoys me and I have to wait around but boom let's go ahead and just open up we could open up version two right here real quick just to show you and give you an example. Um, that's actually, yeah, that's the version two right there. We're just gonna make a new one, right? So we can actually start on that. And the width and height, I'm just doing it 1080, 1080p by 1080p. That's probably the nicest. Um, obviously that's just gonna be a standard 1080p square. Um, very, very simple. Obviously the, the, the video is in 1080 by 1920 anyway, so that will easily fit into here without a shred of a doubt, without a problem. Then you want to actually go ahead and import your pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in all three of these. Boom, one, two, and three. And let's go ahead and turn those off for a second and just go ahead and make an in point or a, um, a, a center point and then also a center point down here. Um, you can turn this on by, by pressing Control R or Command R, right? Boom, boom. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and boom, grab this one. 
and just kind of draw a decently sized rectangle and just line that up and put it in the middle. Um, the rectangle could be a little bit bigger than these top and middle bits, but obviously just doing these kind of points, um, you can put it directly in the center. And then I'm just going to make it black, it, white, whatever you want to make it. It doesn't really matter because this is just going to be essentially where we're going to have nothing. You know what I mean? Where it's going to be um, see-through so we can put the video in there in Premiere again. And it helps us to line stuff up. So now I can turn those guys off and I'm just going to want to start positioning things. So now I could actually bring this guy in and throw him, boom, right there. So we could leave him up here and then we could actually start building these two guys into the bottom here somewhere. So we could put him there or almost this guy on that side actually, making this guy a little bit smaller. Boom, line that up on that side. And then these two are looking like they're kind of similar colors involved, you know what I mean? So I think we could do something cool with these, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's just go ahead and throw that there for the time being. Boom, boom, boom. And this, um, blending these two clips at the bottom, guys, obviously you can do whatever you want. You could just do what I did on this guy here and just duplicate the actual um, bottom thing so I could have him here as well. But for this one, just to make it a little bit different from my other example, I'm just gonna go ahead and fade that off. So these two are two different scenes right here simply by just fading that in half. Then it's two kind of nice screen grabs. Um, that looks all right. Obviously, feel free to tweak and make things better, worse, whatever you guys want to do. But this is just going to be a quick example. So now that we've actually done that, we can go back up to here and just go to your magic wand tool and highlight the black bit, okay? And then go to these guys and go on your eraser tool, click so that we can actually make this um, a smart object. And once it's a smart object, just press delete onto that layer. So you'll notice that is now deleted this to get it in line with where our video preview is gonna be. Then boom, let's make that a smart layer, delete that as well. Boom, make the next one a smart layer and delete that as well. So now obviously we do not need our black thing on anymore. We can just leave those right there as they are. And this is kind of like a nice frame that it's built. And this is obviously transparent in the middle where we can throw stuff into that, we can throw the video in there when we put that back into Premiere Pro. Now I'm just gonna quickly make some text. So this this wrapper is called TRA. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna write TRA, boom. I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller. We can throw that right there. TRA, and then I'm just gonna bring below him, and the track is called Bad Boy. Boom, so TRA, Bad Boy. I'm probably gonna make that TRA a different font, probably Roboto, so this is more, more um, bold. Now we got TRA, bad boy. Let's bring these down a little bit. Yeah, bring that down a little bit. Boom. And bring these actually in a little bit like that. Boom, boom, boom. Pop that a tiny bit below the TRA. And just line this up how you guys would obviously want it. I'm just lining it up where it sees, seems kind of like it's fit. Boom, throw that there. T-R-A, bad boy, I'll even throw that in the middle. And I could even put that up a little bit and just go ahead and bring in my production company logo, which is TQ9. TQ9 is like the postcode um, for my area. So that's what I went with for the name of my production company. So we could go T-R-A, bad boy, with the TQ9 logo right down here. Put that bad boy a little bit more in the middle of these two things. Boom, drag that up and kind of position that in the middle of these guys here. Boom, just like that. If we drag this over a little bit just to make it more, more in the middle, we have now created a quickly again another music video preview um, kind of template right here. And um, I will leave these, by the way, guys, for you. Um, I'll leave a download link for this so you could just download it and edit it how you want, if you know what I mean. But very, very simple method. Now we've actually just done that. Let's go ahead and save this as just V2 real quick. Boom, V2, and then save it as a PNG, V2. Oh, there's already a V2 right there. V22, boom. Go ahead and save that quick. Now I'm just gonna exit out of Photoshop. Boom, go to my desktop, go back to the music video preview, and just bring in this guy right here. Boom, bring him in, and 
The way you want to go about doing this is go ahead and make your sequence. So you could go up to your sequence and make this just 1080 by 1080. Oh, 1080 by 1080. Boom. Yes. And then we just want to go ahead and drag our music video in. Hold tight. Here's the music video. Let me just find a nice bit inside of it as well. Let's go ahead and find a nice bit. Oh, this is this is the bit I like. Boom, let's start it from there. Oh, that's not on for some reason, the snapping. Um, and all you have to do to make it the size is just right click and set, set frame size. And this should fit directly in between our thing now. And actually, if we just play around with the height, we can just set that up so it is right there. And boom. Now, if we give that a play, that is looking like a very nice music video preview. Boom. And you see how quick we did that. Overall, guys, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And overall, I really hope I helped you out with this one. I'm going to be releasing a video pretty soon, next couple days, that is going to be um, how to actually export um, your projects like this for Instagram directly. So if you're not too clued up on that or you're currently in a little bit of a weird method of doing it, Hold tight for that. That's going to be around soon as well. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.